Well, thousands of Filipinos are living in Cambodia and many of them are thriving in their chosen fields. Ryan Chua is in Phnom Penh and he filed this report. In this university in Cambodia, the name Gina Lopez is widely known. Cambodian students look up to this lady from Bataan, Philippines because of her teaching skills, especially in English. Alam nilang pag sa English ay talagang magaling ang Pilipino, ay talagang nandun naman yung paghanga o pagrespeto nila. So, alam nila na meron silang matututunan. Many Cambodians today study English to meet the challenges of globalization. Their country currently hosts the summit of the Association of Southeast Asian Nations, which aims to form an integrated economic community by 2015. Here, Filipinos are considered among the best English teachers. And they can speak English fluently because uh, they can adapt themselves. They are kind. I used to make a community service with them, and they spend their own money to house uh, the Cambodian children. In 2005, when Gina was just in her first year of teaching at the university, she was promoted to associate dean. Some 6,000 Filipinos live here in Cambodia. Many of them work in the academe, the textile industry, and other sectors where they are highly regarded for their skills. At a club in a posh hotel in Phnom Penh, a band from Cebu has been regularly performing since 2008. Members of the group 17 Crash say they're a hit among local audiences because they can sing both in English and the local tongue, Khmer. Nagre-request sila ng ganitong kanta, kinakanta namin. Tapos pag may nag-request sila ng Khmer, sinisipra nga, tapos kinakanta namin, tapos parang na-surprise sila. The band now considers Cambodia their second home. The culture in the Philippines may be largely different, but Filipinos have easily adapted to the way of life in Cambodia, a country that now benefits from their skills and talents. Ryan Shua, ABS-CBN News, Phnom Penh, Cambodia.